going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I'm here to bring you guys my Triton Warhead 7.1 surround sound headset review. Now, I know a lot of people have been waiting on this. You guys want to hear my thoughts. You want to know if this headset is worth the actual money that it's offered for online. May it be at the store. So, I'm here to give you guys my honest review. No, I am not swayed in any way. But let's talk about this headset right here, man. First of all, you guys can already see this headset is totally wireless. That's the number one thing that brought me into this headset. It's the reason why I wanted this headset. It's wireless. I can move around. I can go all throughout my house. Well, okay, let's put it like this. I can go from here to the bathroom, from here to the kitchen, from here to the living room, from here to my son's room, and be able to talk to people while I'm in the party chat on Xbox Live. I can talk to people in the lobby on Call of Duty. I'm able to talk to people in the lobby while I'm playing 2K Blacktop. So let me tell you this right now. If it's too loud in one area of my house while I'm playing a game or as I'm just talking to people, I can just go into another room and talk to people. I don't have to take my controller with me. My controller can just stay right here. I can just take me in the headset, go into another room and still speak to people. This headset is hooked up wirelessly to a dock. The whole base station is wireless. It does not wirelessly hook up to the just the Xbox. It has to go through the base station and then the base station, it has a pairing button which it can pair the base station to your actual Xbox. Now, I know a lot of guys have questions about all the buttons that's actually on this headset. This button right here is to pair it with whatever controller you are using. So if you are with your friend playing, you know, um, both screens top and bottom, and you guys both have Tritons, you can pair it with whatever um, controller you're using. This button right here is for the EQ, for if you want to do Dolby Digital, or if you just want to do, you know, regular sound or surround sound, it's, it's your choice. The buttons on the back of it, you can press the end button to mute it. You can turn the volume up or down for game volume. On this ear cup, it's for the actual chatting. When you want to, you know, mute players and you're in game and you don't feel like pressing select or muting a certain person, you can actually turn it all the way down and not even have to listen to what they got to say. And you also have your mute button for you personally on this headset. Now, this headset is very flexible. You know, the ear cups turn in and out. Uh, it bends just about right here, so it's not one of those headsets that you're going to want to pull and tug on or argue with somebody over, but it's generally a good headset. The ear cups haven't fallen off for me. You guys saw in my unboxing video that I dropped the headset. I probably dropped this headset probably about five or six times because when I grab it off the base station, sometimes it'll slide forward because it's so heavy. You know, it'll slide forward and I'll almost, you know, make a mistake and drop it on the floor. But I have carpet, so nothing has messed up with it. Um, one thing I will tell you, the base station isn't as big as I thought it was going to be. I thought the base station was going to be in front of the view of the TV. It was going to be in the way all the time, but it's actually not in the way. If I'm watching regular TV, I can put the ear, uh, the headset into the base station and not have to worry about it, you know, interfering with my TV, with the picture or anything like that. I have my Kinect right here. I have the base station right here. So I have no problems with that. Now, getting into the surround sound, let me turn the headset on for you guys. Here's the power button, speaking of which. Now, as it goes for the actual sound of the headset, it works for me, and this is why. If you guys have Black Ops 2, you know that surround sound headsets really isn't the best thing anymore. Surround sound headsets, it's like, with Black Ops 2, why even buy a surround sound headset? Because you can barely hear footsteps and everything like that. But, since I have friends that still have Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the first Black Ops, I was able to get a game that actually had footage. I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to the footage. I tried to record it, but I don't like taking my Mac out the house like that. So I tried to record it with the PC, but I, I wasn't able to get it. But um, the thing about it is with this surround sound headset, it seems like you can hear footsteps behind you, to the side of you. If, if they're coming from diagonal that way, you'll be able to hear it with this headset. So the surround sound does actually work. It's not just a little gimmick just to get you to buy the headset. The surround sound works. And I know a lot of people really don't know that much about surround sound, even though we're in the age where you should know what surround sound is. But I will tell you this, the surround sound definitely works. Now, uh, the next thing about it, 
when you're talking to people in the party chat, there's an option to turn you on or off so you can hear yourself. It's like hearing yourself think. So, you know, um, it's an option where you can turn that off and on. Um, the actual mic is detachable. So if you're just on Netflix on your Xbox and you don't want to make so much noise, you know, because me personally, I like watching movies very loud because I'm one of those guys. I need to hear everything. Bombs going off, gunfire. So I can actually just take the mic out or I can turn the mic up and not even worry about it and just listen and watch a movie with the headset and not have to worry about a care in the world. But there is problems when somebody's calling me in the house and I can't hear them. So this headset is definitely loud. Um, I guess the next thing I guess you could say is how comfortable it is. It's comfortable to me. It's just like any other headset. I've had plenty of headsets. Turtle Beaches, Astros, and this is my third pair of Tritons. I had the regular pair of Tritons. I had the surround sound Tritons where it had an actual dock and more plugs that you had to plug into. But this base station works perfect because all it works through is the optical drive or the AVN and out the cable. So it's cool with me, but um, I will say that this headset is worth it, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's wireless one, and two, it's surround sound. So for all you guys that pay about $130 for surround sound headsets that's wired, this is a wireless headset. That's why the price is jacked up a little bit. Um, one thing, uh, somebody asked me a question about being able to use this with anything else besides my Xbox. Well, I am able to use this with my computer. I had to go to Radio Shack. Of course, you know, I looked up the setup videos on YouTube. Um, I had to get an all male cord from Radio Shack and plug it up to the headset and the base station and everything. So I'm able to, you know, use this with my computer and I'm able to talk through the mic and everything and it works. So you're able to use this with the computer and the Xbox. PS3. Excuse me. PS3. I'm not too sure. Um, I, I didn't try that setup. I didn't try to do that. But computer and xbox 360 it works perfect with me but um i guess the best way for me to you know show you guys that i like this headset is to actually do a live con with it so um i'm gonna play a little bit of black tops uh, i mean black tops black ops so uh we're about to hop on to the sticks real quick you know what i'm saying i got my controller got my headset so we're about to get into it <laughs> let's do this all right we back y'all it's time for me to do this live con real quick about to play a little bit of Black Ops. <laughs> Let's jump into this, man. Alright, first of all, I know people are probably going to want to see my class. Um, you guys can tell that the Peacekeeper is at level 1. I did prestige this gun. So, I'm not going to run with any attachments. But I am perked up. <laughs> That's not a drug quote. But, uh, let's hop into this game real fast, man. We're going to run a little bit of Kill Confirm. Um, I didn't want to make this too long of a match. If I run Domination, it's going to be two rounds. It's going to be long, but let's just knock this out real quick, man. Also, I know a couple people are probably going to be looking at me like, oh, they put me in the middle of a game already, which sucks. But let's see what I can do, man. I'm saying I got my custom controller. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, by the way, if you want one of these, just look in the description. Click that Big Shot Mods link. You know what I'm saying? Discount code is in there somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at with this. I think it's taking so long to load up. Kill confirmed. All right, first of all, Remember. it's 3131. Like, what am I supposed to do here, though? We've lost control. Hostile counter UAV above. Radar is down. Oh. It's going to shoot me in my back, though? Hostile counter UAV above. Radar is down. Watch out. Uh-huh, somebody's about to come. Oh, he still cut me. That's crazy. Alright. We're winning this fight. I'm saying though, the, the spawn flip though? Hey, where they at? Gotta kill. Ah. Come on, man. I suck at this game. Got a body. Oh my god. Oh, these spawns suck.
Oh, come on. Come on, y'all y'all standing around. Hostile UAV above. Kill confirmed. Ah. Damn it, I suck at Call of Duty. I'm four and six, man. It's fifty fifty. UAV inbound. Ah, I suck at this game, yo. By the way, just wanted to point that out. Oh, this dude was sitting on. The wow, he was just laying on the floor. That's what we doing now. We've lost control. Gotcha, and yes. Kill confirmed. Gotcha. Come on, what y'all doing? Oh, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be me. I knew it. Yo, I shot first. Like, really? Kill the night. All right, let's see what we got over here. Woo! Fuck you, yeah. We've taken control. Shut up. All right, nice confirm. Come on, fellas. This thing too even. We're losing this fight. I got to assist. It's cool. Another body. We pulled forward. Kill confirmed. UAV on standby. I should have known he was gonna be right there. That was my bad. Come on, y'all. Let's use this UAV. All right, come on, yo. Concussion out. Headshot. Yo, go. You scared? Be advised, hostile hunter killer drone inbound. Hostile UAV above. Gun down, stand by. Oh my God! What I get hit with? I got hit with that C4. Damn. On your feet. Ah. Yo, that's crazy, yo. His. Oh my God. Yo. <sighs> We've lost control. Yo, we lost control, yo. Fuck out of here. Be advised, hostile counter. How you bringing a knife to a gunfight, fool? How you bringing a knife to a gunfight, fool? Be above. Be advised, hostile lightning striking now. Kill confirmed. Kill denied. Gun down. Stand by. Yo, I can't believe that killed me. What? That's crazy. Yo, why they keep hitting us with a counter UAV? Man. Come on, y'all. We need this lead back. I'm not going out there. Mission clock about to expire. Kill confirmed. That's my fault, yo. Hostile UAV incoming. Kill denied. Clean up out here. Denied. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Damn. I'm ass at this duty. I'm just saying I'm ass at this duty. Is that is that a good enough review for y'all? I'm ass at this duty, but my headset worked. Luckily, I wasn't the kill, Ken. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, 18 and 15. I guess that's a good. Eh. 
All right, got the reflex on the side, and what was that? All right, reflex in the laser sight, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, well, looks like my review is done. Um, I played a live com on Call of Duty. Yes, I'm asking this duty. Um, I don't have any catchphrases for it. I just spaz out when I die. I'm sorry if, if that wasn't fun. I had fun. But um, this is IKC signing out. Um, remember, man, Triton, man, check them out. Um, one thing I will say that you guys probably want to do is um, you definitely want to go to like stores that have headsets that actually are on display that are open to use before you make any big decisions. But what I will say is you got to go wireless, man. That's, that's real rap. You guys got to go wireless. It's that simple. But this is IKC signing out, man. Peace.